Oh, get in, get in! Oh! Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Anthony. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, the first one of the new channel. I don't have a name for the channel yet. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but I just wanna thank you guys for checking this video out. Today I'm bringing you guys my best game of golf I've ever played at any golf course. Today we're playing at Antelope Greens in Antelope, California. One of our favorite courses to play, me and the boys. It's a very high handicap friendly course, lots of par threes, a lot of easy holes, a lot of not so many hazards. Super fun course to play on. And I'm playing with my mom today, first time I've ever played golf with my mom, and I just happened to be filming this game, the full game, and I was able to get the best game of my life on film for you guys. So the question is, can I break 100 in this video? We'll find out at the end of the video. So starting out on this first hole, it's a par three. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the rest of the shots on film from that hole. Oh, nice. I ended up taking a drop, shot it into the water, and I think I got a double or tri triple. Yeah, I got a triple off the rip. Not too stoked on that, but still having a good time. We're moving on to hole two. Hole two is 330 yards, first par four of the course. And I hit a pretty good drive off the rip. Just right of the fairway. Super proud of that shot. My mom ripped it off the junior tees. Oh, nice shot, mama. Beautiful shot. <laughs> so using a seven iron here. A little bit in the rough. Nice. Just hit left of the green. Now my mom just hit it from all the way over there, right on the green, like a boss. <laughs> this is so fun. Proud of you, mom. I had so much fun playing with you. Using my secret weapon nine iron around the green. Love using the nine iron around the green like that, just to get over that first little bit of rough. Lining up my putt. See if I can get a bogey. Got very close. Tap it in for double bogue. All right, moving on to hole number three. For hole three, we're looking at 139 yards, approximately. And I believe I'm using an eight iron here. And I get a horrible strike with the club. That's how it goes. But that is in fact how it goes. You gotta just take it. And I was able to channel that into a pretty good pitch onto the green. It ran a little bit farther than I would have liked, but I'm still stoked with making it right on the green. So I have a really long putt. End up coming up really short, even though it was a downhill putt, and <laughs> end up overdoing it to compensate and have to settle for a triple putt with a double bogey. All right, moving on to hole number four, the second most intimidating hole on the course. Got a bunch of bunkers, only 80 yards to the green, and I'm using a 60 degree, and I lob it up nice and high. Experimenting with getting a lot of loft on this hole, and it actually worked perfectly. Right on the green, about 10 feet from the hole. So I'm about 10 to 15 feet away from the hole. I know if I can just get it close, I can easily get a par. And then the worst happens. Well, I really whiffed that, guys. Birdie opportunity with an easy par cleanup, but I'm, I came up literally a, a, a two millimeter short of the hole, so uh, it's a bummer, but you know what? Bogey is better than a triple that I usually get on these holes. I'll take a bogey any day. My mom hit this awesome hit with the driver because she doesn't drive it very far, but she drove it about 100 yards onto the green. All right, so we're on hole number five now, about 100 yards to the green, using a P wedge, actually, which I don't think was the right move for this. Uh, I came up very short. I landed straight in the gulag. As you can see, the, the gulag cam. Here I am looking for my ball. Didn't get any luck, so I had to take a drop. Using a 60 degree, one of my favorite clubs to use around the green. Just get some nice loft. I'll take it far into the green. Hit it a little. Uh, didn't quite get that loft I wanted, but you know, I'll take it. Pretty good, pretty good two putt off the rough. Stoked with that. Uh. All right. All 
Now into hole number six, we're looking at approximately 145 yards using a seven iron here. And I actually hit it a little bit off the toe, which drives it right, but I'm able to land in a good spot for a good chip recovery. All right, I didn't get my mom. She got a really nice drive over the hazard. I'm so mad that I missed it. That was really cool. Uh, but I cleared the hazard, luckily. Didn't replicate that last hole's horror. So let's see if we can save a par for once. Jeez. Don't remember what club I used here. I think I used a P-Wedge. Pretty good chip off the rough. Rolled pretty close to the flag. It was uphill also. Might be able to save par. Hey, did you hit a hole in one? Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congrats, dude. These guys next to me actually hit a hole in one and I heard them celebrate. Mm -hmm. Ah, just missed the cup, so I have to settle for a bogey again. I am a bogey boy. Ah. All right, on a hole number seven, the most intimidating hole of the whole course. About 130 yards to the flag, depending on where it is. I'm using a nine iron on this, which I don't think was the right play. I gotta start using a P-Wedge for that. That was a, that was a strong hit. All right, so now I'm back with my nine iron again. Nine iron on the green is my secret weapon. And I get a really nice chip, downhill roll. Perfect, perfect power. Far for comfort. If I can get a little closer, I can make par every time. That's, that's an uncomfortable putt for me, but let's see what we can do. I wasn't happy with that in the moment, but looking back on it, it worked out because I was able to sink this nice par putt. I did not think I would par this hole of the course. Definitely did not think I would ever par this hole. Can't believe I parred this hole too. That's amazing. You guys, I saved par on that. I am, I'm ecstatic. I have, I never thought I would par that hole. It's one of the hardest holes on the course. It's a mentally challenging hole. Playing my best round of golf today. All right, we're at hole number eight, second par four, 355 yards to the green. It's one of the longest holes on the course and I'm sitting at plus 10 so far on the first nine. Get a nice contact, but a little fady. I always trend for that area on this hole. I always land right in that area. I'm trying to use a five iron off the rough and just end up digging it. Something I need to practice. Hit a little light on that hit. And then proceed to hit right off the toe of my club. Oh no, I towed it. Right. <laughs> Mom's giving me the positive words of encouragement. I'm fine. Using a P wedge, but I hit it a little hard. Shot tracer shows it bounce right off the green so into the rough. I think I got a sidewalk bounce too, so it bounced into the forest somewhere. Unfortunately, Tried to use a 60 degree wedge and just top the hell out of it. Ah. Using 9 iron, hit it a little hard. This hole is psychological for me. I never am able to come anywhere close to par on this hole, let alone bogey. So, seeing if I can pick up an easy two putt and just get utterly denied. Tap it in for. Oh, never mind. So that pathetic performance unfortunately left me plus seven for that hole. Not stoked on that one. Oh well. We're gonna move on to the next one and hope we can do better. All right, we're on the last hole of the first nine. We're looking at 330 yards. That last hole annihilated me. And I hit a pencil straight drive off the rip. Probably the straightest drive I've ever hit. Get it about halfway up the fairway. Using a six iron to try to close the gap and I end up topping it. Let's take a look at that one more time <laughs> just pure top changed up to a seven iron and i hit it super hard sent it flying so i'm using a p wedge because i don't want to hit the branches i want to keep it a little bit low i ended up hitting it really well but yeah if only i could have given it more power could have gotten really close to the hole Nice distance putt there. 
close out for a double bogue. All right, so taking a look at the scorecard after the first nine, I'm sitting at plus 19 overall. Could have been way worse. All right, now moving on to the second nine, we're starting off on hole 10, and apparently the circus is in town. <laughs> we got some dude. I guess he didn't see the path behind the hole, but whatever. Crap out of that one. All right. Well, my P wedge last time was a little too strong, so I'm gonna go with a, my sand wedge. I uh, haven't used this club in a while, so let's see what I can do. I have used this club on this hole before and I've had good luck. St I'm a, being a creature of ritual, sticking with clubs that work on certain holes. I've had good luck with my sand wedge from that distance. Just barely. Unfortunately come up a little short. Could've been better. I am on the green though, which is good. But my putting is a little bit lacking. So I miss an easy two putt. So I gotta tap it in for double bug. All right, now to hole 11. This one is a tough one for me, but I was able to actually hit a draw shot and didn't land in the best spot, but luckily I was not in the worst spot either. Right on the hill. Take that any day. As long as the driver goes forward and up, I'm happy. <laughs> so where I was on this shot was the most awkward golf hit I've ever had to take in my life. My body was so angled and the golf ball was in a weird spot. I ended up shooting my way favorite. right of the green just because of the angle. Now we're breaking out the 60. I can, I know I can easily land this right next to the flag, but unfortunately, top the hell out of it. <laughs> it was just one of those days. Even though I was having a great game of golf, I still was hitting some horrible shots. So mad. As frustrated as I was looking back on it, it is pretty cool to watch the video and see where I can learn. If I can get rid of these, these bad hits, I can cut off a lot of strokes from my game. So, gotta settle for another triple putt tap in. Alright, moving on to hole number 12. We're looking at 180 yards. I actually struck this so pure with my six iron, I believe. I hit this with the best. This was the best iron strike of the day. Great form, great contact. I actually came up a little short of the green, but I was able to bounce right onto the green. Super stoked, looking at a good par opportunity here if I can get the ball close to the pin. Ah, uh, I might be able to get a par. So I know I'm close enough where if I focus, I can sink that. And there we go, second par of the yes. day. Let's go. Another par. Yeah. All right, moving on to unlucky hole 13. I actually almost lost my teeth from a sliced ball on this one <laughs> from the other tee box. And I'm using a seven iron. Don't make the best contact. I hit it pretty left of the green into the rough, but I'll take that. I try to use the nine iron, come up a little short of the green. So the, the rough slowed me down a little bit, which unfortunately led me to double, double putt when it could have been a single putt. All right, hole number 14, I actually want to drive this one, but I hit it horrible and end up lobbing it. It's a pretty long par three, this. So I wanted to try to close the gap. Using an eight iron to try to close this distance, and I end up bulleting it. Wasn't having much luck with my eight iron this day. I'm on the green, that was a crazy, that was crazy. Hit this putt really weird off the face. Didn't get a good roll. Just came up shy of this read. Oh, that was so close. So, got to take another triple so putt. I'm proud of that. Not disappointed in that, but could have been a little better. All right, hole number 15, using a P wedge. Definitely close to 100 yards here. It's pretty short. P wedge, P wedge lands nicely on the green. Super stoked on that. Who's a catfish now, Jake? Huh? <laughs> Jake has always been giving me shit that I can't replicate nice shots on the course. But this video is a testament to how much better I'm getting. Healed that putt, but it was able to save par. Super stoked on that one. Another par. Yeah. Woo! I'm on a roll. Let's go. Oh, I gotta fix my divot. All right, now we're on hole number 16. Using a seven iron, about 130 yards. 
I don't make great contact. I hit the top part of my golf club, very high on the golf club. But I was able to get close enough where I needed to be. So shots like that make me think, okay, I'll settle for bogey. But this hole actually threw me a big curveball. That was the best part of my life. Wow! Wow! Best oh putt for par. That is the that is the make or break of this video right now. That was amazing. Oh my god, I cannot believe I sunk that. That was the best part of my life. Alright, we're on to the last driver hole for me of the course, hole 17. Plays pretty long for a par three, it's 200 yards. Uh, I end up fading the crap out of the shot. I think I'm good. And right it lands very close right to those trees. I'm not sure if it went in the forest or not, but after looking at it, I had to take a drop because I wasn't able to find it in time. So I took a drop right around where I think it landed close to the trees. All right, so thank you guys. They found my original ball way over here by the kids' tee of hole 11. <laughs> what are the odds of that? And after playing the drop ball, someone actually found my orange ball. So I actually ended up playing the drop ball just because I didn't want to risk missing the green on that other one. So I just played the one with the drop, took the penalty, not too bummed about it, but uh, did not get a good series of putts here. I ended up four putting. All right, so for hole 18, my camera actually got corrupted and I lost a couple files, unfortunately, but this is what happened. Off the tee box, hit it on the right of the fairway, pretty close to the green, and then ended up chipping it way left of the green. I don't know what happened right, with this one. Mode. Took forever to find too, it was hidden right next to the sidewalk, but I was able to find it and chip it up for bogey opportunity. Good contact off the face, good green read, just came up a little short. That was looking great. Was able to tap it in for a double, and that closes out the day. So taking a look at the scorecard after the game, the first nine gave me a 49, and the second nine gave me a 42, which comes together to 91, which was under 100. Feels great, played my best game of golf, and so much more room for improvement still. Thank you guys so much for watching, many more of these to come. Have a good one.